Okay, this is part three of installing Artisan software on your PC or Mac or Linux uh, uh, computer and installing the correct driver. Um, let's see if I can bring that up here. Okay, uh, a few minutes ago in the last video we showed you about uh, installing a fidget driver in case that's the one you wanted to use. Afterwards, it may pop up with this message that tells you uh, that if you had a fidget attached to de detach it to get uh, the proper installation. And you, if it doesn't open, you may need to restart your system. So I just wanted you to uh, see that. Now that I don't want to save the fidget software on my uh, desktop, I'm going to get rid of that because I've already installed it. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. Now I'm going to get you started on uh, Artisan. So the way you set up Artisan at this point is you go into Configure and you hit Device. When you hit Device, you'll see, and it doesn't start off with this Fed Fidget 1048, you hit the Meter button and then you scroll through all these choices. If you're doing the Fidget, you would click on the Fidget. If you're running, uh, for example, on a BC roaster, which doesn't use a fidget, you would go to the mode bus setting and click that. And we'll get into that in just a minute. If you are using, uh, oh, where's the choice at? Uh, it, oh yeah, here we go. If you are using a uh, Sedona Elite or a, uh, Phoenix Roaster, a Phoenix Oro Roaster, you would hit PID because they have the high-end Fuji components installed. Well, I'm actually demonstrating this video in my office and I'm nowhere near a uh, coffee roaster, so I just hooked up a fidget to this computer to give you a demonstration. So I'm going to go back to the meter. We already have the fidget set up, so uh, uh, we're going to click OK. And so now when I hit the on button, if I have it set up correctly, the, the proper temperatures should show on the ET and BT because my fidget does have two probes or thermocouples uh, connected. So here we go. We see that uh, it's 87 degrees in my office, uh, which is actually pretty cool for Arizona. Uh, but because I don't have this hooked up to a roaster, you're not going to see these temperatures vary. So the only way... I can actually show you that the temperature is uh, is actually hooked in. So I'm going to stick one of these in my mouth. And as you can see, if I can keep talking, uh, the BT one, which is in my mouth, is quickly rising. Hopefully up to, what is it, 98 points something or another. But I'm going to take that out. But that just shows me that everything's operating properly. Uh, so now I'm going to hit the start button, and here's how Artisan works. We've actually started it. You see uh, it going across the screen there, and I'm going to go ahead and stick that back in my mouth. You're going to see the, the two separate. This time I put the ET one in my mouth. Let's go back to the BT. So you see it climbing, and uh, say you're doing a preheat. I'm going to take it out of my mouth because I can't talk. Uh, then you're ready to charge the beans. You would hit charge, and it automatically records the temperature it charged at, which obviously you don't want at 87.9. Then as the beans continue to climb, you would, uh, as it gets close to 335, you would hit when the drying end, and you do this manually. And then when it gets close to first crack, which is going to probably be, 365 to 400 depending on the bean uh, you would hit first crack and it records that oh by the way it does record uh, when you charge the beans uh, automatically when uh, the turnaround is uh, since I'm not doing a roll roast it's not going to show that so at the end of first crack roast you hit that then if you happen to take it all the way to the start of second crack you manually hit that and it records the time and the temperature and hopefully you don't ever go to the end of second crack very often. You're going to have some 
pretty nasty beans in my opinion. Uh, you hit second crack, and then when you're ready to drop it into the cooling tray, you hit drop. Then a lot of people like to record the cooling time, which hopefully is just two or three minutes. When that's done, you uh, hit that. When you're done, you hit stop, and then it shows you the details, and then uh, uh, you can either go right in here and save as and write down, uh, um, let's put down fake fidget test. And I think I hit a wrong button there. Okay. And then you can save it wherever you want on your computer. I'm going to save it on my, actually, I'm not going to save it at all. But if I did, I'd save it on my desktop because I want to throw that away. But you can actually put a file on your computer that's all for uh, artisan profiles. So that's just an example of how it is. Now, I mentioned to you that if uh, we were going to go into, let me go ahead and reset all this. No, I don't want to save that. Uh, if I wanted to go in and set it up for the BC models, I would click on mode bus here. And then as soon as I'm done with that, uh, you want to make sure your curves are all checked, your LCDs. And then uh, um, I would click on this. And now it's asking me on the, it brings up the serial point configuration. It's asking me what serial point. And because I don't have this hooked up to a BC uh, or any other mode bus, it's not giving me a choice. You don't really want the COM5 you would normally click down and it would show either if you have an older BC, the FT232, and you would click on that, or the CP2102, which is for the new 2018, and you would click on that. Uh, you also have to make sure that your input 1 and 2 have the correct configuration, which it shows in our manuals. And I want to just mention one thing that... Uh, uh, in, in, the, in some of the manuals, it shows something like this for the endpoint part one and two. And it, it shows you that setting, and a lot of people will go in and set it that way. I think our older manual shows you that. I have to double check. And then when they go to uh, roast, the ET and the BT is backwards. A simple fix on that is just to go in and change this so the input one is. Uh, register to slave one and so forth and then uh, that's good now then when you go to start the roast it should bring up the temperature like the correct temperature right here like it did with uh, the fidget but because I don't have it hooked into a, a, a mode bus uh, data logger I don't have it hooked into a BC computer it's showing me a zero one, and that basically me is telling me that the artisan is not connected to the, even if I've got the USB plug plugged in, it's not connecting and making that connection uh, with the software, and so I've got to go figure out what's wrong. And generally, when you go in, well, you got to hit the stop button. You go in, and you would. Uh, uh, check your device to make sure you have it set up properly. And if you do, then you make sure you got your uh, communication port. And no, normally it's this. This is where the problem is. Also, I forgot to mention. Do do follow the manual on this because uh, that the way it the default there on 115,000 is not correct. So follow the exact settings that are in our. Uh, manual and if you need a copy I do believe you can get a copy from our website and if not you can email the tech but what we don't want you to do is but make a bunch of phone calls to our sales department because they will not be able to help you at all anytime you have an issue with uh, a computer at all you should be contact first contact looking in your manual You'll be amazed at the, how easy the answers can be found most of the time in that. If you can't find that, then you would uh, go to our tech page. And I'll bring that up. Uh, my 
internet is loading very slow today, but you would go to the tech page and then uh, BuckeyeCoffee.com and then click on the tech page and you would scroll down and find a bunch of answers to your questions. One such question is sometimes on certain, uh, let me close that, on certain uh, installations of the mode bus, the temperature is off by sometimes 100 degrees. And you'll see if you go to a video that's on the tech page, artists in troubleshooting how to fix that and what that basically comes down to is going into the roast and setting the uh, correct temperature and what's really weird about it is with the and I think the reason for this is the Omrons on the BC roaster are originally designed for Celsius but can be converted to uh, Fahrenheit so when you get yours in the US it's going to be set for Fahrenheit uh, but sometimes when you go in and you click it to Fahrenheit it actually shows some crazy number whereas if you click it to Celsius it's almost like it's reading the Omron correctly whatever the Omron is set to so that's one little issue that folks sometimes have with this but we hope that uh, this is an informative uh, video and you can uh, do a YouTube search or other searches to find more information on uh, Artisan and definitely sign up for their email support because we just show you the basics on how to set it up. Artisan has the capabilities of recording all kinds of interesting data and that's for you to explore. So thank you very much.